How did your other book, Rhetoric's Perseverance, impact the period after the reign of Louis XVI? I made my book, Rhetoric's Perseverance, to mock and criticize Louis XIV and his government system along An example of Louis' tyranny is his Palace of Versailles, a palace of over 2,000 acres of land with hundreds of paintings. This palace was painted with gold and is now a huge museum, while the third estate suffered through high taxes and without access to food. After the storming of Bastille and the Reign of Terror, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were executed, ending the monarchy and creating the Directory, a new form of democracy in which a five-man executive directory that ruled along with the two-house legislature. What challenges did the common people face before the revolution began? Before the revolution, we had high taxes, not enough food, and we had the same politics. We struggled while the rich people have lived well without helping us. How did an occupation? My name, my name is Francis Lefebvre Bay, and I'm a soldier serving under Napoleon Bonaparte. What inspired you to join the military under Napoleon Bonaparte? I was inspired by Napoleon's vision for France and his remarkable leadership. I wanted to serve. Focus on maintaining the order and neutrality of the U.S. and being involved in this conflict within France could damage and risk U.S. independence. Why do you support the revolution, or at least some ideas of the revolution? <laughs> Are you a supporter of the revolution? Yes, I'm a supporter of the revolution because families were suffering and, and during that time it was hard to get food on the table and to have your families be happy and families spent. Did you reserve the national essence of the revolution? Yes, I was happy with the main goal of the revolution to end the monarchy in France. Even the and Marie Antoinette ruled. I did not support the monarchy that Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette ruled. I found that they would only exercise their powers. The people of the third estate were not treated fairly and were heavily taxed. They formed a high tension society. This is part of the reason that I helped overthrow them. Would you and I was a lawyer in France before becoming the leader of the Public Safety Committee during the revolution. What were your beliefs about the government? I was a J We sought to restore the stability to France and combat the violent revolts that were occurring. Our main obligation to the people was to preserve revolutionary movements while trying to maintain stability after the disorder following the reign of terror. How were you influenced by ideas introduced in the Enlightenment? Myself and the Continental Congress use these ideas to assist in the formation of the American government as well as writing the Constitution. We gathered here today to decide the fate of Napoleon Bonaparte, but before we begin, we must review some facts. The French Revolution was a prominent event in the history of France, inspired by the American Revolution. The, Fr the French Revolution was led by the citizens of the lower state, inspired by the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, due to their race, taxes, and what they referred to as an economic depression. The Declaration of the right of, Rights of Men declares that all men are born equal and should have equal representation. The bourgeoisie, educated members of the Third Estate, have read the documents related to the thoughts of lost Montesquieu and learning about their deprivation of natural rights. Members of the Third Estate started their rebellion for societal and economical change with the storming of the political prison of Bastille, symbolizing their pushback on the policies established by Louis XVI against the absolute monarchy and fought for liberty, equality, and fraternity in 1789. Louis XVI, the last monarch, was forced to accept the National Assembly's plea to a limited monarchy after being violently stormed by the angry French citizens during the storming of the Bastille. Napoleon was a supporter of the revolution as Louis XVI was being overthrown, which would make you think he was opposed to absolute rule. As the lower class of France started to rebel, they forced out the absolute monarchy and began the reign of terror, finally accomplishing their independence goal. Did South America become independent from Spanish rule? Mr. Bolivar, do you have any affiliation with mm. Mr. Bonaparte or his time in power? I witnessed his coronation as emperor in 1804, and his invasion of Spain weakened Spanish grip over, the col over its colonies, which allowed for easier time for the revolution there. Well, Mr. Bolivar, what did you think of Mr. Bonaparte based on your witnessing of the coronation? I admired his accomplishments, but I was highly disgusted with his betrayal of the ideas of the French Revolution's liberty, equality, and fraternity. You faltered, so. Napoleon took economic reforms, such as establishing the Bank of France, which stabilized the economy, unlike my excessive tax taxation and spending, which caused the French Revolution. Ideologies and beliefs that emerged from the Enlightenment such as equality under the law and the abolition of feudalism. Promoting natural rights and opposed absolutism. My ideas influence revolutions and future governments. 
how do you